Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. So here in Teams, we have, we navigate Teams with different keyboard commands, or as we often call them, keystrokes. We can use Windows keyboard commands, which we can use tab and arrow keys to navigate in different areas. We can use some JAWS commands as well. I like to use insert T, for example, for reading me the window title. That often tells me where I am. And then we can use Teams specific keystrokes, or as I like to call them, native keystrokes, because they are specific to Teams. Now, like with a lot of other Microsoft Office or Microsoft products, you will see a lot of overlap. So you're going to see keyboard commands that you use in different applications. They just might be used for something slightly different here in Teams. So to navigate in Teams to the different areas, we talked about files and calls and chats and all of those. We're going to use control and the numbers on the number row. So if I press control, Number one, alert, you will see mentions, replies, and other notifications here. That takes me to the activity feed and it's telling me what I'll see there replies, mentions, and things of that nature. Control two takes you to chat. Chat list preview. Chat, Carl Scott. All right, so it tells me that I'm in the chat. And if I want to verify that, again, I can use this JAWS command insert T as in Tango. Title is Carl Scott Microsoft Teams. And it tells me who I'm chatting with, is what it, it told me there. Control three is for, uh, will take you to Teams and Channels. Teams and Channels list review. And control four, and I'm currently using a test version of Teams, so I don't have a calendar. But if I did have a calendar available, I could press control four and it would take me there. If I press it now, it's going to take me to the next area, which is calls. So I'm going to press control four. Combo box. And it took me to calls. Ordinarily, again, if you had a calendar available, uh, which ordinarily I would, it would take me to the calendar. Control 5 is for calls and control 6 is for files. So I'm going to go back to chat here. Chat with now, another way we can get to different parts of the screen when we're here in these areas of Teams is by pressing control F6. You may be familiar with pressing F6 in different Office applications to get to a different part of, for example, the document screen if you're in Word. You can also press Control F6 to get to different open documents. Well, here we can press Control F6 to go to different parts of the screen. So I'm going to do that now. I'm in the chat area. Chat content list with two items. Sent. I'm attaching this file for demo purposes. So from there, it, I pressed Control F6 and it moved me to uh, from the list of chat messages to or from the list of chats. Sorry, to the messages that are in this particular conversation that I have selected. If I do it again, type a new message edit. Now we're in the message field. Combo box. Look for messages. Files. Now we can search for things. List with nine items. We can, uh, this is where we can navigate through the different areas if we were to use our arrow keys. But of course, you know, we just talked about doing that with control one, control two, and so forth. Chat list review. Chat, Carl Scott, offline. Now here I'm in the list of conversations. We're going to talk about this here in just a second when we go to chat. Chat content list with two items. And I'm back to the content list. So control F6 will navigate you forward through all those areas. If I want to go back, I can press control shift F6. Chat list review. Chat, Carl Scott, offline. All right. So those are the ways you can navigate to the different areas and teams with your control and numbers on the number row and then with control F6, which that will take you through the different areas of the screen when you're in a particular section in teams there. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.